Hello everyone, this is Mary Ann from Revealing Light Tarot. I wanted to take a look at Manifet, Robert Mauler's questioning of Manifet. As we know, when he uh, cut a, a plea deal, uh, they've been meeting since September 2018, uh, right up until now. Um, now, in an article in Bloomberg uh, on, uh, let me see, the 16th of November, that date's important. Um, it was reported that Special Counsel Muller and Manafort had asked for a brief delay before updating a judge about Manafort's cooperation in the Russia investigation, saying they will have more to report in 10 days. Now, the reason that I'm doing this today is because it's the 26th here in Australia, so probably the 25th for you. Uh, but we could potentially be looking at um, some uh, another indictment coming down this week or some significant information coming forward uh, as that is arising out of Man Mueller's questioning of Manafort. So it, from the articles and the news that I've read, it appeared that Manafort was actually uh, stonewalling a bit. Uh, he cut this deal as part of the deal that he had to cooperate. I believe from news reports uh, that the stonewalling or the blockages occurred around Mueller's questioning of Manafort in relation to Manifest Stone, Trump, business dealings, um, going back decades, okay? So what this would suggest to me is that Mueller is indeed following the money trial uh, and looking at those uh, links between um, uh, Manifest uh, and Russia and the Euro Ukraine, or as we know, he's employed by the Ukrainian uh, pro-Soviet government there. Um, and uh, and don't forget what, what was occurring in U Ukraine at the time. So this was an American citizen aiding a... Uh, an aggressive um, uh, government, uh, in some say it would say illegitimate government, in the Euro Ukraine. Um, now, Stone, of course, is a long-time uh, business, well, I guess partner. I'm not sure about business partner, but certainly he was an advisor. He's a long-time colleague of Donald Trump's um an ally, I would guess you would describe him as. Um, and Stone uh, was also a campaign advisor in 2015, but had to step down when his past was kind of brought to the brought to the fore to the fore. Um, and there was controversy surrounding his association with the Trump campaign, so he stepped back. But as we know with Donald Trump, uh, what happens in public and what happens. Um, uh, behind the scenes are two different things. So uh, Stone kept on advising. He was still uh, an advisor to the Trump campaign in 2016, and now, and of course, as we know, in his, you know, as history would bear out, uh, was uh, um, uh, involved in the the WikiLeaks. Um, release of, of the Clinton emails. So from all of that, that's telling me that Mueller is needing Manafort's cooperation to hone in on uh, on um, Stone uh, and also to, uh, to hone in on this Russia-Trump um, uh, collusion conspiracy. Um, and to, uh, I guess, prove those, uh, prove uh, uh, well, possible indictments in the future uh, in relation to the Russian interference in, in the 2016 election. So if he's wanting that critical in information from Manafort, Manafort's reluctant to give it, give it up, but he's cut the plea deal, so he will have to, then whatever uh, information that Mueller is trying to extract out of Manafort possibly has something to do with Stone and WikiLeaks and in turn Don Jr. and Jared Kushner's meeting in, in Trump Tower. So the, these are the evidentiary links, I think, that Mueller is trying to uh, nail down. So given that Mueller may come forward today uh, with the success of the Manafort negotiations um, all on the 26th, um, now he'll be telling the judge that either Manafort has cooperated and therefore he's fulfilled his, his plea bargaining or, or the terms of, or he is not cooperating and therefore that could possibly lead to... Uh, you know, to that plea bargain being null and void, and then Manafort would then go forward, uh, uh, you know, to to trial, and then on those on the other charges, and then eventually to sentencing. 
My feeling is that Manifet will eventually flip on this new critical piece of information, but I want to ask the, the cards, what, if, what is it that Moore is trying to uh, extract from um, uh, Manifet? Is it, is it indeed tying stone into the Russia interference? And then, and then we'll also ask about Don Jr. and Jared uh, Kushner. Um, and because these are the indictments that may be brought down in December, possibly December, but uh, but as we move into January, yes, things are hotting up. Uh, and I, w I also want, yeah, I also want to uh, want to know if, um, uh, you know, if if those indictments will be brought down in December. So let's uh, have a look at Manafort. So what is he trying to hide? Uh, what is he what is he stonewalling on with Mueller? Um, what information is he not releasing? And then what are we likely to see come forward tomorrow? So first of all, what is what is Manafort trying to hide? Is it is it something to do with Roger Stone and uh, and his connection with the Russian uh, interference in the 2016 election? What's Manafort trying to hide? What's what's it to do with? What's Manafort trying? Okay, so um, I'll just bring it down uh, for, to the cards here. So the first card I'm drawing is the uh, the Nine of Swords. And, of course, we know that the Nine of Swords is the card of uh, grief and anxiety and isolation. So I think this is Manifet at the moment. Um, we asked what he's trying to hide. This is Manifet trying to not to give up the information that Moore is wanting. Um, and look, this is uh, regarding, uh, you know, the money, uh, and this is the this has something to do with the money that changed hands, possibly, um, possibly between Manafort uh, and Stone uh, and 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 the Trump campaign. So let's have a, a think about this. This is the card Nine of Pentacles is the card of solo, sort of solo projects and luxury. So it's telling me that the my question was what is Manafort stonewalling on? This has to do something to do with finances and donations, campaign donations. So I think it's going broader than WikiLeaks at the moment. Uh, I think it's actually going to to the money, and the challenge for um, for Manafort is is comes forward as the star of hope. And I think it's this card is reflective of the actual pressure there is uh, on. Mueller and the Mueller investigation to come up with this evidence. Um, and it could also be uh, Manafort's hope to escape uh, from prison or, or a lengthy prison sentence. Um, this is his challenge. So if he's trying to withhold uh, withhold the the um, the information, uh, what what is challenging him is his own hope that he will not have to spend time in prison, indeed that his family will be safe. Because I think that's what the um, the deal was all about, and of course this is Mueller, the strength again of the Mueller probe, and this is Mueller coming forward. Um, this is the card of strength, and this is in the future. So that tells me that Mueller has got the information that he needed. So just sort of summarising that those cards, we've got Manafort at the moment, you know, really uh, with you know isolated, out on his own. Uh, so. While he's got his attorneys there, he's quite, uh, he's quite, he doesn't really have much, many, like we, he doesn't have really a leg to stand on. Okay, he's cut a plea deal. Uh, if he stonewalls, the plea deal is null, null, and, null and void. This has got to do with money. Okay, so uh, WikiLeaks, this, this has to do potentially, it's not just, oh, Russia, you know, um, Russia, uh, you know, collaborated with WikiLeaks to release the Clinton emails. There has been a transaction, a monetary transaction involved there. Uh, these people weren't doing and taking these risks for nothing. So if you think about it, Mueller not only has to come up with the, uh, the evidence, I guess, of um, collusion, but there also has to be uh, a reason for the collusion, and it was it, 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 to these players like Stone and Manafort. Uh, it was there has you know it wasn't just that they were taking these incredible risks for nothing. There has to be a money trail. So I think 
you know, when we get the indictments, it will not only be bang, uh, the conspiracy and the collusion to uh, to damage the Democrats in front of the election. It'll also be why why people did this, uh, and it will be uh, it will be there will be money monetary transactions there. But look, why Moore is going to be successful is that Manafort needs the deal. He needs the plea deal. It's his only hope. It's his last hope. And of course, we have uh, Mueller being quite successful. Now, I'm just going to deepen this uh, a little bit so that we can see what's going on. The Nine of Swords, of course, uh, comes forward. Of course, this Three of Wands, it's always coming forward. There are several cards that keep coming forward in relation to the Mueller investigation. We get the card of strength. We get the Knight of, I get the Knight of, uh, the Knight of Swords, which is the soldier. Uh, those cards I associate with, uh, with Robert Mueller. Uh, we, we get the moon, as in the secrets coming out. Uh, we get the two of swords, which is, uh, you know, like being in a double bind, if you like. Uh, we sometimes, uh, uh, get the, um, what is it? The eight of swords as well. Um, um, which is the imprisonment card, but we also get the three of wands. Okay, this is commerce and expansion. That uh, cat person in this uh, card is looking to the horizon, which can often signify. Uh, and he's sending a smoke signal out. So this is almost like this communication, this overseas communication in relation to money and in relation to expanding someone else's interests. Okay overseas interests. Okay, so that's really what's going uh, against uh, Manafort. He's already, Mueller's got that information and he's cut, uh, he's cut a deal. Um, now, the, this monetary transactions that we're looking at, potentially, that, that is the, 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 the stalling uh, coming from Manafort, we get the moon, and uh, the moon is secrets being revealed. That's the uh, another card that always comes forward in relation to the Mueller probe. So it's almost like uh, Manifest's not wanting to give up the 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 information in relation to the money ties. Okay, and look, one could understand why he might be holding out a bit. Uh, Russia is. Um, is on his tail, uh, potentially on his tail, and uh, you know he and his family are would be under threat. I mean, the Russian mafia are among the most violent criminal thugs in in the world. Uh, you know, akin to to the American mafia, possibly some say worse. Um, so you can see why he'd be trying to hold out with that information. But really, his challenge is the truth, okay? So his challenge is his hope of, of a plea. He needs this plea deal, okay? And his challenge is uh, the truth will be revealed, okay? The sword of truth, there's a divinity about this sword. You can see the sun uh, coming up. Uh, and you can see that the sword is uh, is is surrounded by uh, this this kind of nature growth fertility. It's almost like nothing can stop the truth coming forward. Eventually, it will be outed. And we've got uh, just mirroring Mueller's strength. We've got the uh, the ten of pentacles, um, and the ten of pentacles comes forward in terms of leaving this legacy. Okay, so Mueller's strength is the work that he's done to leave the legacy uh, for for America. Very powerful cards, these ones coming forward this morning. Um, and we've got the queen of uh, the queen of swords mirroring Manifet's um, Manifet's grief and anxiety and Russian expansion, the Queen of Swords, that would either suggest that there's a woman involved um, because this is this is sort of, you know, uh, I guess someone with, with you know, quite substantial uh, clarity and intellect. Um, but it's also, uh, it also could be, um, uh, 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 it could also be uh, the, the House, the Democrats in the House, you know. So... My feeling is it's tending to to be a woman, and it seems to be that it it could be that uh, there is a woman playing a part in this. It could be Bettina, that Bettina, oh God, what's her name? Um, she's actually in jail at the moment. Um, you know, you know who I mean. Um, the Russian woman that was 
that had in, in, infiltrated the NRA. Uh, the NRA. Um, uh, Marina Butina. This could be Marina Butina here. There is there is a a woman involved in this. Um, the other option for this card could be he's concerned about his wife and his daughters. Okay, that could be mirroring his anxiety and his grief. And then uh, the tra monetary transaction. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles. Who's this? Trump, Roger Stone, Trump Organization. Okay, secrets are, are going to be revealed in relation to the King of Pente Pentacles. And we know that the King, King of Pentacles is this uh, this bold leader, this, this financial, um, I guess, powerful. Uh, inter it, it can also be, um, I guess, uh, the use, how, the, how those transactions were used. Um, so that could be where the evidence might be sitting. The evidence could be where did these, where did this money, where was it, how was it dispersed, um, how was it distributed, how was it hidden? Interesting. And and his challenge, of course, of course, we pull the five of swords. His isolation. So the the five of swords comes forward with um with with you know really the pressure coming on Manafort. This is Manafort in the middle here. He's got. Really, no power in this situation as he's surrounded by Mauler's investigators. So that's his challenge. He's outnumbered, uh, really, uh, and in every way he is powerless. And just mirroring uh, the strength of Mauler, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and this is coming forward with money news. So, indeed, this is making sense now. This reading, uh, Manifet has been holding out. Uh, on a matter of uh, of money changing hands in relation to the WikiLeaks um, release of Clinton's emails, and uh, Mueller was always going to follow the money trail, uh, and indeed he has. So I just want to ask one more question before we close this reading down. I want to ask if indeed uh, this new information from Manifer will actually, because we'll find out today, or we'll have to monitor whether Manafort gave it up or not. He certainly didn't want to, but that reading's indicating Moore is just too strong for him, and he did, or he will. So we'll find out on the 26th of November what happened there. Um, I guess, you know, go to the major media outlets, but if I can pick it up, I will. Uh, we want, and I'll, I'll just post a quick video uh, in summary of that. Uh, but I want to know if this new information that Mueller is extracting from Manafort will actually lead to the uh, indictments of um, uh, Roger Stone uh, and potentially Don Jr. and Jared Kushner for that meeting in Trump Tower. Is that what we're looking at? Is that what we're looking at? Okay, my feeling is it'll lead to the indictment of Roger Stone because, pardon me, it was a monetary transaction there. Uh, will it also lead to Donald Trump Jr. and, and uh, Jared Kushner? Well, let's just take Ro Ro Roger Stone. Will it lead to the indictment of Roger Stone? We'll do a quick three-card three reading. Okay, Roger Stone, he's embattled. Yes. Okay, it's looking like he will. Chain to material greed. Yes, looking like Roger Stone's going to be the next to go. And finally, the tower. Yes, viewers, Roger Stone will be the next cap off the rank. All right, now let's go to Donald Jr. and Jared Trump. Now, this is interesting because... Ja Jared Trump. Jared Kushner, Donald, Donald Jr. Trump. <laughs> okay, they're kind of alike, aren't they? Uh, let's have a look at... Um, Let's have a look at whether it will include, I'll just bring it up here again, whether it will include uh, Donald Jr. and Jared, uh, Jared Kushner. Because there's a, the financial transaction that came forward in the cards, um, I'm not sure whether that will extend to Donald Trump Jr. and Jared Kushner. If that transaction was to Roger Stone, and Donald Jr. jumped forward as an opportunity to help his father, 
they would Mueller would have to prove that the the Trump Tower meeting was indeed collusion. Now Roger Stone's saying it's not. Why? He, Roger Stone came out months ago and said that that it wasn't collusion, that it wasn't illegal to meet. Uh, now how would a financial transaction What else has what else has Mueller got? Okay, has Mueller got some emails between Roger Stone and uh, or Manafort and Roger Stone, Manafort, um, Manafort and uh, and and Trump Jr. If they if there was that financial transaction there, mm, I'm not a lawyer, but uh, it may. When I think about it, it may be that if there, if money, well, let's just think about it. If money changed hands between Mueller, uh, sorry, Manafort and Stone and Russia in relation to the WikiLeaks release of the emails and then others were drawn in in this collusion, does it matter that they they may not have received that they may not have been a party to those transactions that they were actually benefiting in other ways? So it's almost like the collusions being um, proven up front, and then any then anything else is yeah. I'd be interested if there's any uh, lawyers on this channel. Uh, to see to to hear what they might think on in relation to this. Okay, let's just see. Let's use the quick way and ask the cards. Um, will the information Manafort gives up contribute to the indictment of Donald Jr. and Jared Kushner? Will the information that Manafort gives up to Mueller contribute to the indictment of? Donald Jr. and Jared Kushner. The links there. Okay. Right. All right, the Empress comes forward with abundance. Oh, I'll just bring it down here. The Empress comes forward with... Uh, you know this abundance and fertility. So it's it's kind of like uh, that's telling me that the information Manafort gives up is uh, actually a rich, fertile ground for to to contribute to the Mueller investigation. Could also be Mother Russia as well. Okay, and it you know who's benefiting? All right, so a lot of people are benefiting from this information. Indeed, that might be the legal point here. Uh, the benefit from the uh, financial transactions, the exchange, the paying for them for the information. Where did that? Where? Yeah. Okay. So where did? It, you know, it's flowing forward to to many. And the challenge here is the uh, the knave of pentacles. Now, this indeed is Donald Jr. and is it and it, perhaps Jared Kushner to a certain extent. Their naivety. Uh, that's that's what this is saying to me. Um, it can also be news, money news. So that's the challenge for them. Okay, so in some way, that fi those financial transactions are going to be a challenge for Donald Trump Jr. and Mueller. And of course, this is new income streams. So I think that yes, that information that um, that that uh, that is going to that Mueller has received from. Um, from Manafort actually will contribute. It might be the final piece that he needed in relation to those indictments. Now, people uh, sometimes ask when. When are they going to be uh, indicted? Now, I've already said that in other readings it looks like a December-January timeline. My feeling was something could happen in December. Um, and uh, definitely coming forward in January right through till June of next year, okay? Uh, and the most important thing is that uh, these cards have never shown 
that Trump will be successful in 2020. It actually, they've always seen him walking away before then. Okay, so in relation to timelines, I would suggest you go back and listen to my other readings. But we can ask, uh, we can ask, we've asked, will it contribute to their indictments? The answer is a resounding yes. Um, certainly Stone is going to go. He's going to go and he's going to go soon, okay? And I've already done a reading on that, so you can go back and look at that too. Um, I think, I, I think, but let's just concentrate on Don Jr. and Jared Kushner. Are they going to be indicted in December? Okay. Tarot's not uh, specific, you know, in terms of pinning down they will be indicted on the 15th of December. It doesn't work like that. Uh, but approximately, uh, we can start, look at, say, December and possibly early January, or not early January, December, January. Let's have a look. Will they be indicted? Yeah, it is hard to predict these timelines because, I mean, Spirit doesn't sit up there with his uh, human calendar on his lap saying, well, December it will be, but I can ask. Will they be indicted December? December, January. Will they be indicted? Don Jr. Okay. Alrighty. So here we have the Ten of... Um, I'll just bring this down. The Ten of Chalices again, uh, which was multiple... Bit, you know, things coming out, multiple... Uh, flowing in multiple directions. The Ten of Cups uh, is uh, is to do with children too, you know. So this could be this is saying Trump Trump's children, and we're pulling the um, the Empress again. Uh, now that's interesting. What is that telling me? That's telling me. Let me just have a look at this. Yeah, a lot's going to be happening uh, with these indictments. Um, Yeah, nine of wands, battle weary. This is indeed uh, this is indeed Donald Jr. and uh, Kushner's um, challenge, fighting these battles off. And uh, inspiration. Okay, this is going to be um, this is going to create new new situations. Um, and I think that uh, will be. A whole new ball game once these indictments come down. So we asked in December. That's not really clear, is it? But it is showing that they're staving off these battles. Um, yeah, okay. Actualising. Okay, so yes, now I'm clear. This is the inspiration uh, behind, behind the, these indictments. This is the inspiration for Mueller to bring them down. And that this is telling me, the magician's telling me he's actually actualising his goals. Um, he's actualising the aim of that investigation with these indictments. So... Definitely going to lead to uh, manifest information. It's definitely going to lead to the indictment of Roger Stone. Uh, there is a, a inf new information around monetary transactions, uh, whether or not that extends to Trump or um, or Kushner's another thing. There's a certain naivety there with those two uh, that is not there with Manafort and Stone. Um, however. The information that Manafort gives up is is flowing through the investigation, so in some way it's going to help these future indictments. Uh, the fact that we pulled the magician card uh, after the Ace of Wands is saying that they that that it will contribute to these indictments. They these indictments for uh, June, Don Jr. and Kushner may very well come forward in December and January um, in terms of a timeline. But my feeling is Stone's going to be, probably Roger Stone's going to be next. 
that's my that's what the cards are definitely saying. There was no ambiguity in the in that set of cards for Roger Stone. None whatsoever. Okay, in a way, we pulled the devil card. Uh, in a way, uh, getting getting to Stone is uh, another big fish for Moolah. So I'll leave that there. Um, that's uh, that's what I can see in relation to the Moolah probe. I hope you enjoyed that reading. Um, and we'll wait and see. The 26th of November, that's coming up right hot in our heels now. Okay, thank you.